hello planner friends it's the foxy misfit plans and i am back with another plan with me as you can see this time i will be planning in my a5 teal kiki k also i just painted my nails please excuse them i tend to paint my nails at the worst times because they're already dinged up and so i'm just i just said forget it i want to film this plan with me i haven't had the best of days i'll get into that a little bit later but i thought doing some filming and setting up my planner would make me happy so here goes nothing also if you hear any background noise these students are actually on wing and one of them several of them actually play instruments uh one day it was the bass guitar another day it was, uh, was the keyboards and today apparently is like a french horn or some sort of trumpet so if you hear any noise that's what it is um it is totally not me i'm not playing anything right now my tv my music all that is on mute so um I'm gonna get into this plan with me and we're gonna start by showing you pretty much my pre-plan folder here. Um, today I'm going to be using two, uh, one washi for sure, which is this blue blue one with the gold foiling. And then I also pulled out this date washi um, just to see if, I wanted to test it out. I may or may not actually keep this on there. I just wanted to test it and I figured when I did, I would show it to you all. So we have our washi here. Then as you can see, I have my pre-plans here. Not a lot going on this next week. And oh, if you're interested, the color I have on my nails is OPI and it is Rich Girls and Po' Boys, so it'll focus. So there you go, Rich Girls and Po' Boys. I actually love this color. It reminds me of like a rich, I don't know, not rich, but it's a um, very deep cornflower type of color. And I thought it would look pretty when I planned with this kit. So the kit I'm using today is actually not a full kit. I only got part of it because I don't really need a full kit. I have all these extras right here that I'm gonna pull in with it. But this is from Brandy's shop. I'm not sure what the kit's called, um, but doll, this matte paper is awesome sauce and I can't wait to use it. I test peeled a couple and the paper is just so like sturdy. And then, so here we have the full boxes. And for some reason in the summer, I always have to do some sort of flamingo-esque kit. And this one was so pretty with the touches of faux gold, faux gold foil <laughs> and the flamingos and the pinks and the blues. I just love these colors together. And then here we have the functional sheet. We've got heart checklist, ombre weekly, some icons, dots, um, payday, a few functional decos here, the weekend banner. I love these little tiny flags. These are like the perfect size and I have a tracker and a build you. And then on this next sheet, I picked up we have the headers and the little things. And then we have our half boxes, some three heart checklist boxes and some quarter boxes. So that's what I'm working with today is my base. And then I have all these extras in here that I'll be pulling in throughout. One of which um, I'm thinking about foregoing some of the headers to include these glitter headers from Wild Summer Design. So we'll see about that. And then I'll tell you where everything else is from as I pull things in along the way. So I'm just gonna start with these and oh yeah, make sure I get my card out for my washi. Um, this week I'm using my Panera card. And then before we get into the plan with me, this is my A5 planner from P Kiki K and this is a teal one. Um, I don't like this elastic because as I stuff it, it does that to the planner and I really don't like that, but it's been functional for me right now and I actually really love my setup in here. So I just have like extra stickers on the side in my pockets and um, I have like this um, acetate paper I got from Hobby Lobby and I just cut it to fit. And then this I got from... No, the acetate came from Michaels, and then these two papers actually came from Hobby Lobby. Sorry about that. I forgot I had a little bit of personal information on that dashboard, that divider, but I treat it like a dashboard, kind of. And so um, I got these from Cardboard Couture. I love her shop. Um, like, they're so pretty. This was a monthly section, but I actually don't use it. Um, I find that I only like the Erin Condren monthly, and then I like doing my weeklies in here. I don't know what it is. Like, I'll plan out big stuff in my monthly, which is why I want one of her deluxe monthly planners instead of a full-life planner, because I've actually been very happy with my setup here. So here's my current week. Um, I do use inserts by Jacinia. They're, they're in her shop, Jacinia Printables. And um, yeah, this is the current week. I really haven't been filling it out too much, but um, here is the week we'll be planning. I won't be doing anything with this just yet, but I will show y'all how I'm using that once I get comfortable. But um, I'm, I printed these out through the end of July, but then I will get into these inserts. They are by Plan Her Girl. They're printed and hole punched for you. So I picked these up and I'm excited to start using them. But until then, I'm actually using these by Jacinia. I printed these out myself. They're on just like some regular paper. Um, it's not great quality, but it's functional and that's what I need out of my A5. And then I'm just gonna set this out here and we'll get started. Okay, so we have a sidebar here and um, I'm actually, let's see. I'm actually not sure that I wanna start with the sidebar yet. So I'm just going to open this up and move the sticky down. And I'm actually thinking that I want to use all of the glitter headers versus doing, I think I'll keep the to-do and then do the rest of glitter. Um, I really like that. But before I start, I'm going to pull in this washi. I think it matches really well. This is by Simply Gilded and it's super pretty. The one thing I will say that I love about Jacinia's inserts is that the lines are so faint that I can put this washi right over it and you can barely tell that they're even there. So I love that. Um, 
you know, that was that's another reason I just move away from some planners is because of harsh lines. Now, functionality will trump little details like that for me, but um, I found that, let me zoom y'all in a bit, but I found that, um, let me get back to what I was saying. I can live with some of those things as long as the function is there. All right, beautiful. We've got one side down. I'm just going to set that in a little bit and then we'll come over here and do the other side. So today has not been the best day. I'm actually filming this the Wednesday before this week is supposed to happen. So it's literally the day after the 4th of July and I woke up to a very suspicious charge and I started to call my bank, but I looked at the transaction and it said it was the IRS. And so I called them and I do owe them money, but I had set up a payment arrangement and it was not for the amount that they debited from my account. And I called yeah, and this washi just aren't getting it today. Okay. I think I got it. But I called them and come to find out the charge was for a fee to have them direct debit my account for what I owe them. And I was like, what do you mean? So this fee doesn't go to anything. It doesn't go to my balance at all. And she said, unfortunately not. And I was just like, so the idiot, I didn't actually say this, but I'm saying it now. So the idiot I talked to a month ago didn't tell me that because for what I owe, it's really not worth me paying that fee. I just couldn't pay it all at once. So I wanted to spread it out, you know? Well, that idiot neglected to mention to me how much it was going to charge for the convenience of them debiting it out of my account. I would have happily called them every month and made my payment. Would have happily done that. Now I know, lesson learned, never go for convenience with the IRS because it's not as convenient as you think. Like, it's so inconvenient. I can't even make my payments online. I'm going to start getting money orders and sending sending them the payments, which really, it's only about two more payments um, that I'm going to make because I've been working this summer just to pay for that as well as some other things. And so, you know, that just kind of set my whole day off because here it is, um, you know, we're talking about more than $50 that was unplanned for, unbudgeted because I budget to the penny and it's just gone. It's gone. They took my money. They, like all she could do was apologize and I could tell she understood. But at the same time, it's just like, you know, really, really? Why y'all got to do me like that? I'm sitting here trying to be responsible and y'all just won't let me. And so I've had to rework around some things and try to see, I put them at the bottom. Um, I think this week I'm just going to put my to do's up top. So I'm going to go in with these and I hope I'm in frame pretty well. I'm going to zoom out just a little. Okay. So there we go. Um, sorry if I wasn't in frame, but you know, it just, it put a really big damper on my day. Um, like to the point where Sorry, I have to turn this sideways to get it straight. But it's to the point where, like, like I freaking hate adulting. I really do. Because, like, I was practically about to be in tears. I, none fell down my face, so I'm not going to count it. But I, I was just so upset. Like, every time I've gotten paid this summer, it has been something. Never mind the fact that because I'm only a 10-month employee, but I get paid over 12 months. During the summer, I actually get paid less. Um, and so I have a lot less to work with than I do during a year. And that's really just taking a toll on me. And for this to happen, I mean, literally it has been something every paycheck that either it's an extra expense or, you know, it's something else to think about and account for that I didn't plan on accounting for. And, you know, it's just gotten to the point where if something else happens, like if I can't catch a break, like I don't, I just don't know what to do, how to feel other than just angry. Well, not angry, but just frustrated and just totally totally not feeling just adulting in general. I just, this is just so frustrating and aggravating. And if I saw that guy today, this morning, after I talked to the representative I spoke to today, I would probably punch him in his face for being a liar like that over the phone. Um, I don't care if we're in person or over the phone. Don't lie to me like that. I need to be able to make informed decisions. And I'm depending on you, a representative of this company or organization to inform me properly so that I can do what I need to do and not turn around and be upset. <sighs> And, and, you know, I get it. I used to work over the phone customer service, believe it or not, um, for a phone company. I won't say which one just because they're a bit well known. And I just, I got tired of being, you know, pretty much judged on their policies for my evaluation. So when you leave reviews for your customer representative, and if they can't help you because of some policy, I'm, I'm begging you, please do not, please do not give them a bad review unless that person was just flat out rude because there's nothing they can do about policy. And there are a lot of policies. If they can't help you, but they've been super sweet and nice to you, please don't leave them a bad review because that's out of their hands. I mean, don't like, don't scream at the phone and say, how do you sleep at night or any off the wall stuff like that? Cause I know it's frustrating for you because you're in a situation when you call them, but trust me, if you know, if they're, 
being nice about it and trying to do everything they can, don't leave them a bad review because I know for me, and I don't know if all services or companies do offering call center um, customer service for various companies online. I don't know if they all do this, but when I worked there, basically if I got a bad review, I immediately lost $2 an hour off my pay. So I would start off with um, nine, I think it was nine twenty five or nine seventy five an hour. And then um, if it ever, if I ever got a bad survey or a bad review from a customer, it literally went right back down to seven seventy five or seven twenty five, whatever minimum wages, and um, you know that affected my livelihood. And I started to take it personally because it affected me at the end of the day, and people didn't know that. So I try and tell folks all the time, don't leave a bad review. But you know, today was one of those days that if I left a review, I would give her great marks, and if I could, I would give him all the lowest marks I could ever give because it was just so unprofessional to not tell the truth like that. Um, so, and if you work in customer service over the phone, you probably get what I'm talking about. It's a real frustrating job, and I do not envy anybody who has to work in one or needs it because it's, I'm telling you, it is downright horrible um, some days. All right, so I'm just going in with some TV littles. I've actually stopped putting in the meals because I don't really track my meals. I only need to track um, my meal plans, which I write down elsewhere. I pick up my groceries, and that's it. So I'm just going in and putting a TV for every day. I will say um, I'm very impressed so far with the kit, but, um, and then, like I said, these glitter headers are from Wild Summer Designs. The only thing is these littles are little. Um, I, I'm not a fan of such small littles, but I'm going to rock it out this week and make it work for me. Not that, you know, the TV section is that important to me. I just kind of watch things. I will say, though, the size of them will give me room to just add in more things. So I guess that's a plus. I'm trying to, literally today has just been about finding the silver lining in things. Um, after dealing with that today, because literally it's like the, I want to say the fifth time that something's happened either right before payday, on payday, or right after payday for me. And then I'm like on the struggle bus for the rest of the month. Um, not really the struggle bus, but you know, I just like everything's just really tight because something unexpected happens. Mind you, I've planned to the penny because I want to know how much money I have to play with as far as stickers go. So that's another thing. Just, there's just been so many different things I've had to um, take care of and account for lately, um, my family included, that that's another reason I decided to go on no sticker spend. Um, no more stickers for me for a while, um, at least for a month. I might allow myself some a couple of exceptions if it's like super limited, but um, for the most part, I'm just not doing it because, you know, pretty much I need those funds to go elsewhere because I just, I cannot, I just can't keep doing that. Just cannot. Okay, I put down my TV littles. And I'm going to put down these hearts and asterisks, just alternating them. So I think Monday I'll put down a heart. I just don't like having one little down there like that. I think it looks weird. And then Tuesday, asterisks. So yeah, all that pretty much has put me in a mood and I'm just trying to get out of my funk. So. I can get back to being productive because I'm actually very proud of myself because I've been sticking with my Erin Condren planner this week. And I think part of it was due to this planning sheet and um, the fact that um, I really took my time planning everything out. And naturally, this just never, uh, I just never get everything to alternate how I want. So there's that. But yeah, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I am. Um, I hope your all's day is much better than mine. Um, I did get to order my, um, it was on my list to order. I wanted to get the ombre haired girls from Fox and Cactus and I did. And it'll be my first time getting the girls from her shop just because, um, let's see, I'm going to go in and top each of these with a glitter header. Um, it's my first time ordering the girls from Fox and Cactus. I think the only thing I've really ordered from Fox and Cactus before are, um, were some TVs, I think. Yeah, there were some TVs, and that's about it. I haven't really ordered much else, but I plan to order some more in the future. These girls are kind of like my tester, if that makes sense. It's just how I'm testing out the shop, and it was a great deal. If you're watching this, they're actually still up. They're going to be taken down on Monday, so um, if you get paid or, you know, you got the extra cash lying around and you want to try out the Fox and Cactus, I highly recommend it. It is on premium matte paper, so that's another reason I wanted to order, because if you're new to my channel and you don't know, I love Premium Matte. I think it's superior sticker paper. It is my ideal paper. I think myself and all things Abby have that in common. Like we just love, love Premium Matte paper because everything is so vibrant and crisp. Um, Nicole Alexia Designs is also offering Premium Matte paper, but only on her Ultimate kits. And I understand because it's like expensive. Um, 
the good one, I guess, because Caress Press uses it. Um, Station Stickers uses it. I'm trying to think of another shop if I've tried it. But um, yeah, just awesome, awesome. I love Premium Matte. Oh, uh, Planner Gems also uses Premium Matte because I just used it on my July monthly plan with me. If you haven't watched that yet, uh, go on and check it out. And I'm trying to think, what do I want to do? I think, I think it may be time for the full boxes. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm gonna put this flamingo in the center. All right, that looks good. And I'm just gonna top it off with a glitter header. I like using glitter headers in my today section, just not as my to-do header, if that makes any sense. Like that's just not what I like to do. Not my thing. Okay, so next we've got pinks. So hmm, I'm actually going to use these here for the pinks. I just think it'll look really cool. I do think I might have to wipe out a little bit. No, no. Again, having such a faint uh, background on the lines, like Erin Condren, take notes. Because, so I'm, like I said in a previous video, I'm not going to be ordering the new Erin Condren. It's, I just, I just don't like it. Like, I don't want it as a weekly. I like the monthly, but the weekly, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Okay, and I can see these. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go get my white out. Okay, so I've got my white out now and I'm just going to white out these lines as best I can. That looks much better. Okay, I'm much happier with that. But uh, like I was saying, I'm, you know, I've seen people using their new Erin Condren's and frankly, that dotted line and having to white it out would get on my nerves. Like, this is the first time with these printables and this style of insert that I've had to use white out with because, like, they're designed. So that, because I hate when whiteout peaks from the sticker, I think it looks tacky, but that's just me. Um, I don't like how it would look in my planner, so I just choose not to do it. But yeah, I um, I didn't like the look of those dotted lines in the neutral. Never mind the fact that it didn't have the headers. I actually like that fact. Um, and I like, I like the layout. I just didn't like that they were dotted lines and that they're in all black. Such a strong color. I love how this is just a soft gray. Um, and so I've been really enjoying it because it blends really well whether I put the sticker down straight or not. And now I'm going to go in with these florals. Okay, put this one here, and because there's color, the lines really won't show through. Okay. All right, so almost done with the full boxes. And then I think once I put these down, I'm going to work on my sidebar because I need to get that thing together. So that I can have more structure on Monday because I do my I will do my sidebar no white space and that way it gives me a little bit of a sturdier backing for this flap to actually do my plans on. So I don't know, I just like it better. And then let's do yeah. I am liking how this is working out. Okay. I'm definitely this is very light pink, so. Okay, and I'm gonna fix this one and then put on my hairs. But yeah, so I'm just not a fan of that. I love the Erin Condren monthly though. Like that one, I I love that monthly. It is the perfect A5 monthly for me. Like I said in the beginning, I just don't um I don't really like the monthly in the ring bounds as much. I just find that I don't look at it, I don't use it, and it becomes a waste of space for me. So I want to pretty much try to find a better way to you like I still like having a monthly. It comes in very handy for work. And I still love doing plant with me instead of monthly. So that's why I would still like to get one. Okay, now we're gonna switch gears and just do the sidebar. And I'm going to start by putting down this full box. I think it's so cute. And let's actually white out some of these. I'm not gonna be too exact, but I just want to make sure. I could probably white out a couple more. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the new Erin Condren's. Like at first I was like, ooh, yay, new hype, yes, all about it. And then I wait because I need the hype to calm down and then to actually look at the planner and see how functional it would be for me and come to find out, not to my surprise, it just, I just don't think it would fit for me. Okay, love that. 
And then I'm going to actually pull in a couple habit trackers because um, like those just aren't gonna be enough for me. And instead of using the one in the kit, I'm gonna use these by Saucy Stickers Co. And I just, so what I do is I list trackers in this extra box here and those are things I wanna put in my habit tracker. So I have three, plus I have this Instagram tracker because you know, your girl's been slacking and I apologize. I have just not been in a wonderful mood lately. Um, like the 4th of July was the 4th of July for me. Um, I'll be honest, it just wasn't like super duper exciting or whatnot. And honestly, it was the one time I missed my family. Oh dear, this isn't cut. Let me cut that. But um, yeah, I spent my holiday at work in the morning and then I cooked myself some dinner, which I fixed some wings in the oven. And I guess I'll call it like kitchen sauce because I literally just tossed some stuff I had in my kitchen in there with some butter and spices and called it a sauce. And, um, and yeah, I pretty much just sat around and watched movies and called my family. That was pretty much my 4th of July. Um, just very boring and lonesome. And so, yeah, um, that's what a single girl who does nothing but planning and be a hermit half the week, that's what she does on the 4th of July. Okay, this is making me sad, so I'm gonna stop talking about that. But, um, and this is taking me entirely too long. But I wanted it to be straight, and then, um, let's see. I'll use a half box actually because there's a lot here and I'm not sure I will use them all. I'll just use the one that went with the full box here and I'll just use it as some for something happening this week. Whether it's like, oh I know, it's the last week of camp. That's what I can watch. Okay, so there's my sidebar and my sad story <laughs> of how I spent my 4th of July. Um, so yeah, um, I also spent some of the 4th um, designing in Silhouette Studio. I do own a silhouette. Um, I'm still working on the printer part, but um, that's neither here nor there. Let's see. Okay, and we're just gonna put in, starting with Monday, I'm gonna put in this Coffee Monday sticker by Hello Petite Paper. I think it just matches the style of the kit really well. And it's so pretty. And then while I'm on this sheet, I'm going to use this time to plan, and I'm actually going to use it um, on going to use it on Thursday because basically I'm trying to get all my plans done before I potentially get paid. So this is going to be a very heavy planning day. All right. So the next, let's go day by day now. So I'm going to put this half the week to the side and just going to focus on Monday. So Monday I do have to work and I'm going to use these labels here to mark my work schedule. And so I'm just going to put that in. And let's see. I could use these coffees. No, oh, I can't. I can't forget this. I need to put this uh, plan with me Monday down. I'm almost running out. I need to get some more. But I'm gonna put this down because that's pretty much how I spend my Monday nights. That's cute. Um, and then let's see the other thing. I thought about using were these desks. I think they would look cool. I wonder if I could get away with this green one. These are by Paper Crown Prints Co. And it's on this really nice like unicorn mat. Like I don't know if it's like premium mat or what, but it is on point. Um, I think I might, I don't know. I don't want to use a coffee cup next to a coffee cup. So um, I think I might actually go for the desk and I'll just use these green ones. And I do have to work six days this week. So I'll be putting those in and then let's see. So that's Monday morning. And then I got a couple of to-dos that I can mark up here. And then the other thing I'm going to do on Monday, let's see, let's grab, let's grab a half box because this is a very tedious task, but I'm going to be comoring my room, which if you don't know what that is, it is um, where you use the comori method of cleaning and tidying up to declutter. And so I'm going to be starting with my clothes and working my way down. So to mark that, I'm actually gonna pull in my cleaning fox and pip girls. And yeah, we're just gonna use her all week because that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing. And then let's see here. For Tuesday, 
let's see, Tuesday, I'm also going to clean the bedroom, but that's that can all fit there. So that's Monday done, and then Tuesday. So Tuesday, I have work, and then a plan with me goes live, and then I'm doing day two of the Gomery method. Okay, so, and to mark that one, I'm going to use this half box. I'm actually going to try and line these up. I know that might seem crazy, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. That's slightly crooked. But yeah, I decided this would be a good time to do that because I really wanted to clean up my space because my sister, um, my brother, and my niece are possibly coming down over this weekend. So I really wanted to make sure the space was nice and ready for them. All right, so I don't know. I think I want to alternate with the pink, but I think the green will look fine too. So let's see. Mm -hmm. I need another label though. Let's see, for my video, I could pull in this one. This is just from a shop, Jessica Hearts, uh, $5 Friday. So I'm just gonna pull this in for my video and I'm gonna put the desk up here to mark work and then to mark my video, I'm gonna pull in some other stickers. These are by Aria's Daydream and I think this pink would look really good. So there we go. So that'll be my for my Tuesday video. And then next, let's see what else. Watching Law and Order, and then I'll be doing Commodity Day 2 um, and cleaning my desk. And that's it for Tuesday, um, unless I got a few other to-dos that come up, which I will get to those as I get around to the week. Um, Wednesday is going to be pretty much like an all-cleaning day outside of work because um, I've got a lot of things I need to clean. So um, let me put in my work schedule. I'm just going to put that here. Okay, and I'm going to put, let's see, I'm not even going to bother with a half box there. I am going to pull in these clean all day stickers by Peaceful Mind Design. I think they look great. So I'm going to put that here and then I'm going to put in this three heart checklist of things to clean. I think that's how we're going to mark it. If I can lift this up. I'm gonna try and layer this a little bit. Okay, so we got that down. All right, I think that looks good because I have a whole list of things to clean and really not much else to track. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my desk. They're a little big, so I just wanna make sure that spacing is right before I put them down. And I do believe this is premium matte. It's so buttery smooth. Um, and then on Thursday, I do plan to sleep in for a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna put in my Fox and Pip Girl because she's super duper cute. Because that's what I'll be looking like. <laughs> um, let's see. So I did want to put in something else. Yes, sleep in. Let me find that sheet quickly. I have so many different sheets pulled out here to the side. It looks kind of nuts, but... <laughs> um, Oh no, I did have one more thing I wanted to do, but I can mark it. I can use this Fox and Pip Girl and just write on the paper. I want to write my blog and have it ready to go for Thursday because that's when I will need to post the next one. I'm actually really excited because I am going to have it coincide with Friday's video, I believe. Alright, so normally I use my newest addiction sleep in stickers, but this time we're using Spencer and Jude. Um, these are so, so, so pretty. Love those. And we're just going to, let's see. Yeah, don't need the rest of those yet. All right, so um, no work label for that. So um, I do have cleaning I want to do. And it's day, it'll be day three. I mean, day four of the Kamari. So I could put this one down. But I think I'm going to put down the ring one and just put it in a half box up here. That is totally not down how it's supposed to be. Okay, so here we go. But yeah, this is just another big cleaning day and putting my Fox and Pip Girls because that's what I'm gonna do after I sleep in. Um, I'm thinking about also 
I have basically trash and dusting on, on there. So, um, let's see. I'm going to pull in these trash stickers by Planting Roses. And I think this color matches really well. So we'll just toss that into. All right. And so that's Thursday. And now we can move on to the other half of the week. Dear God, I hope I wasn't praying. Okay. So moving on to the weekend, we have a weekend banner to consider. I'm having so much fun pulling in other things. I'm just like forgetting that there's any more to the kit. Um, okay. So let me put in my weekend banner before I totally blank on it. And I'm just going to center it here. I think that's actually really cute. Um, and let's see. What else? Saturday is payday. So I'm going to actually cover this up. And I just remembered I didn't put in my to-do. So there we go. My to-do headers. Gosh, why didn't anybody tell me? It's okay. I wouldn't have heard you. Okay. Just doing things a little bit at a time. But yeah, I'm so glad that this is the last week camp that I'm planning. I'm ready for these little ones to go home. Not that they're little ones. It's the high school camp. So the first two weeks were the middle schoolers. And then the, the last three weeks are the high school camp. And I'm so ready for them to go home to their own houses to go bother whoever lives there with them. <laughs> um, because, yeah, it's I just want peace and quiet. I do. All right. I'm going to put these in really quickly. And then I'll go back to planning day by day. I will say I am noticing that these are a little bit longer than the actual boxes. And I'm not sure if that's the printing on my part or if these are the actual stickers but I do know that it it's getting on my nerves actually I want to say it's the stickers because of how like literally the boxes the littles everything it's just a little bit too long and I don't know why other than that I really don't have any complaints about this kit like I would give it a 9.9 .9 out of 10 and point one points would be for the fact that these are a little bit off size like the headers the full boxes the littles the um, half boxes and quarter boxes are fine because that's actually like helpful, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm noticing this and I'm not really fond of it, but it's not terrible. Okay, so back to planning the weekend. Um, oh yeah, I said Thursday was going to be a planning day, but that's going to be like time to film your plan with me planning day. Whereas Friday will be the real legit plan for your life day. And so for that one, I'll actually just put in my to do's because I need to meal plan and then do my budget. So those, those actually take me quite a bit of time. And then let's see, I do work on Friday. So let's toss in one of these. And then I also have a video going up and let's see, I am doing some cleaning. So let's, uh, let's work this out, shall we? I think I'm going to use this box here. For cleaning. I think I'm going to do cleaning a bit earlier in the afternoon so I can get some sleep. Put my Fox and Pip Girl down and then um, for my video I'm going to come in with another one of these. That actually doesn't match and it bothers me. Okay. Maybe this one. I think this one will match. Yeah it does. Okay. And I'm actually going to bring in some blue here so we'll put that down and then we'll come back and put down the desk for the work schedule there we go put this down and then um so i got work and then meal plan i'll use this icon here so meal plan, and then I also need to do my budget. So I'm going to use this icon, and then we'll use this icon because usually after I do those, I order my groceries or plan plan my grocery shopping. Um, but I think I'll be safe to go ahead and order my groceries this time because Saturday, if I have family coming in, I don't want to be spending it at the grocery store, especially because I still work Saturday morning. All right, so then let's see. Cleaning, last day at camp. I do kind of want to highlight that it is the last day of camp, but it's not really that important, so I'm not going to do it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, um, except for this one thing I do want to mark, and it's for making sure I take donations down to... I need to make sure I take these down 
to wherever I need to take them to and get them out of my car and out of my place once I, because once you finish the Comarie method, you usually have a lot of trash to take out and I'm expecting a lot of trash and at least one or two things to donate. So there's Friday. Saturday, I do work. So let me find my box boxes again. So um, let's see. I'll choose this one. Oh, I don't want to cover up the flamingo. So maybe I'll do this one instead. Okay. And let's see, anything under work. Put in payday. Um, oh, I need to meal prep. So I am gonna put mark that down. Using these salad bowls from Jam Sticker Shop. I think they're so cute. And they will work with most any spread. Let's pull in this green one. All right, I think that looks good. And whew, last time I have to put this in for the summer. Thank goodness. All right, looking good. And let's see, I'm gonna leave the rest of that blank. And then for Sunday, um, we will more than likely go to church. So I am just going to put my hat box in here for church and then, um, Okay, half box for church, and let's see. I did pull out some church icons to use. And these are by Mickey Plus Three. I think they go really well. And let's see. If there's anything else I want to mark. I don't want to put down my family visiting until I know for sure which day they're coming. And actually, I like hate all of these icons right here. And we're just going to, I'm going to put this one up here and then this one here. Basically just have them together instead of separated like that because it was really bothering me. And then this one here and then, ugh. And then let's see, let's mark, um, new releases somehow. Let's use this heart at senior releases and then if family comes to, I can use this house. It's pretty bland. I can either use it to mark family visiting or whatever. I don't like this but I also don't like having the icons to the side if I'm just like, like these are going to be my Friday to use anyway. All right so I believe that is it for the plan with me. I will just have to fill everything in once the week comes around but um, let me show you the week in full. So there's everything. I think this is really cute. I love how it looks. And yeah, this is a glimpse of how I plan on my A5. I don't need a ton because this was only four pages, um, minus the fact that I used like all these headers up. And um, I used all the full boxes. Here's the labels I have left. I still have a good number of them left. And then here's the functional sheet. Um, I mean, if I didn't need checklists, which I probably could have pulled in some, I would have, um, I probably wouldn't have even gotten this sheet because I've got some extra stuff I can pull in. For the sidebar and then um, here's the header sheet I barely use this I mean I use a little it's kind of out of habit I actually think I could have done without them this week but um, yeah I think really all I need from a shop are half boxes and full boxes <laughs> and labels I think that's really about it um, but that's everything left in the kit and then I just remembered I didn't do my date covers or date washi oh the date washi is super cute though y'all but it doesn't have any room for you to put down the actual number so um, thinking ahead I did pull some date covers and they are the only kind that I really like to use. They are by Colourpop Paper. And yeah, these match pretty spot on. So I'm just gonna put these in really quick. And, and so there we have it. This is July 10th through the 16th for me and my plans. What are your plans? Let me know on my Instagram. I would love to see what you all are doing. I follow tons of people and I love seeing other spreads come together. Um, this one's mine and then here's my sidebar. Um, I always feel like I can just get away with some neutrals. So loving this. And yeah, so um, that's my plan with me, how I do my A5, and I hope y'all enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one, planner friends. Bye-bye.